this is Laura Pinka Savage, one of the field marketing specialists for the East Central Florida region. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a campaign on Moxie Engage. All right, let's get started the way we usually do on CB Desk, and we're going to go to Moxie Works. This will, of course, take us to our Moxie Works profile page. You'll see your name and hopefully your headshot here at the top. You want to make sure that blue bar comes in as well, and you'll have the options for present, engage, my website, impress, and directory. Today, we are going to be looking at campaigns on engage, so we'll go right ahead and get on to engage. Once we're on engage, you're going to be first led to your dashboard. This is going to show options like stay and flow, your activity feed, your to-do list, etc. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to direct us to campaigns, which can be found on the sub menu board at the last option right here, campaigns. Under campaigns, you'll have my campaigns, eblasts, neighborhood news, listing announcements, and emails. So today, since I'm showing you how to send out a campaign using one of the Moxie created campaigns, we're really going to be hanging out on this My Campaigns tab. I want to call attention to the different tab sub tabs that we have on this page, which are going to be all campaigns. So these are going to list all the campaigns that you may have downloaded from the library. Awaiting setup is going to show the campaigns that you've downloaded from the library but have yet to set up. Running campaigns, so campaigns that you've completed setup and are currently actively running. Pause campaigns, so any campaigns that you've set up but decided to pause. And archive campaigns, so that's going to be campaigns that are archived. The way we get started with adding a new campaign is going to be add from library, which is this blue button at the top right. It's going to automatically lead you to the campaign section, but in this library, there's also a section for e-blasts and emails. This is going to pull up all of the pre-created campaigns in the campaign library. You can scroll through to find one that fits the nature that you're looking for. You can then obviously preview it and add to campaigns. So I'm going to preview a campaign Let's say I'm a global luxury agent that's really interested in sending a campaign targeted to those global luxury selling prospects that I have. So there is a global luxury selling campaign already created. It's going to be um, six touch luxury seller campaign. So that means that there are six emails that are comprised of this campaign. I can preview this campaign if I'd like. Here you can see the campaign schedule. It's going to show the titles of each of the different emails. It's also going to give the frequency of when these emails are going to be sent out. So this one goes out every seven days. So it'll go out from the first day after we set this campaign and every seven days following that day. You can click through and see the different email options. So it's going to be showing you four of six, five of six, etc. See, it has um, some really nice photography in here as well as content, the global luxury logo, and it will have your contact information here at the footer. So I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks. I'm going to hit add to campaigns. Once I've successfully hit add to campaigns, I'm going to have another campaign that's added to my awaiting setup. So before I went into this, I had three campaigns. Now I have four. So I'm going to click awaiting setup. Then I'm going to find that global luxury campaign that I added. I'll click on the name of it. Once I'm in, I can edit the name of this if I'd like. It could be something that might help me remember, or I can name it the name of the prospecting group I want. Only you as the agent are going to be able to see this name. My next step is going to be to add recipients. So I'm going to click set up on the right hand side and then add recipients on the left. From here, I can select people. I can either select individual contacts or go to groups. I can select all current contacts or if you already have a sellers group or a luxury sellers group set up, 
for this instance, you might want to select that. So I'm going to select a group, hit add, and it's going to add those contacts. If you have quite a few number of contacts that are going to be added there, it could take some time. So just let it um, do its thing and load while you're waiting. I'm going to click save. And now my recipients have been added. The next thing you can do is you can edit the schedule. So you can extend the dates that these are going out. You can shorten it. Uh, you can turn a 35 day campaign into a six month campaign. If you change this to go out once a month, you would do that by going edit schedule and typing in the information. You can always view the schedule here or you can remove an email if you don't like one of the emails in particular. Um, once your changes have gone through, you'll click save. And now your campaign is ready to go out. You'll know that everything is done and complete because this blue button will have turned blue. Otherwise, it will be a faded out gray. So once you're ready, you click run campaign. Now that we have our campaigns running, you can click on two campaigns that are running. Here I have three campaigns that are running and here is my global luxury seller campaign. It will show you a snapshot of the frequency and the different emails that happen and it's also going to show you a snapshot of those analytics once these emails get sent out. So you can get an open rate, a click rate, number of opens, number of clicks, a uh, number of unsubscribe and the number of people that you're sending that email to. Thanks for watching. I'm going to have more Moxie content coming your way. I also have a video on how to create a custom email on Moxie Engage and how to set that up with the campaigns. So follow along and subscribe for more content.